Well, how did there, pluckers? I've sore fingers again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for hopefully what will be a, an interesting lesson for some of you. Um, I've had a request for some help with a song called uh, Today I Saw the Whole World by a band called Pierce the Veil. Okay, um, now I'm not going to perform the song for you because it's not really my sort of vocal, uh, but I uh, always like to help out. So. I will try and show you what uh, I think the guy is playing. This is the acoustic version, okay, where the guy's on his own playing on an acoustic guitar doing the song, okay. Um, so, uh, first thing to note is the, the guitar is tuned a uh, whole step down from standard, okay. So, um, the notes, if you need to everything all the strings have to be slackened off from standard tuning okay the bottom E string becomes a, a D note the fifth string becomes a G the fourth string becomes a C the third string becomes an F the uh, f second string becomes um, uh, an A and the top string the top E string becomes a D okay so you've got D G C, F, A, and D. Okay, so let's loosen all from standard tuning, loosen them all off so that ends up on that. It should sound like this. Okay, the other way you can do it is to, if you are, put a, put a capo on your second fret and tune up to standard pitch with the tuner or whatever, okay. Tune up to standard pitch with the capo on the second fret. Okay, when you take the capo off, you will be in uh, a whole step down of tuning. You'll be like that. Okay? So that's the other way you can do it. Right. Now then, uh, let's get to it. So um, the introduction to this song is this something or the way I see it anyway. So it starts off on this uh, form of E minor shape. My first finger is on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and my third finger is on the seventh fret of the fifth string. And I'm basically running down from five down to two. Okay. Then back up to three, up to four, then back to three. Right, so I got that. Right, now the second shape is a form of D, I think it's D6, but don't quote me on that, okay? Um, my first finger is now playing the fourth fret of the fourth string, and my second finger is playing the fifth fret of the fifth string, and it's the same idea. Five down to two, back to three, back to four, back to three, okay? Okay, so now you've got this. Sorry, let's do that again. Okay, then what we do is we take this shape that you've just played on the D sort of six-ish, down two frets and becomes a C major seventh, okay? So it's the first finger is playing the second fret of the fourth string, Second finger is playing the third fret of the fifth string. Same idea. Okay. But on the end of this one, we add a little bit, and that is to make it a C at nine by adding your third finger to the second fret. Uh, sorry, third fret, third fret of the second string. So you've got C major 7th with this added 3rd finger going to the 3rd fret, 2nd string. And what you do with that is you, you sort of upstroke the 3rd, the 2nd string and the 3rd string with the fretted on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. And then take that finger off and 
upstroke the second and third strings together without that finger. Open second string, open third string, okay? First time, two strokes with it on fretted at the third fret on the second string, and then once with it off. So now you've got this. And then another little quick strum in between odd strings. It's, it's very loose, okay? So... So that's the intro. Then it goes into the verse, and the verse is uh, basically the same three chords, the E minus, E minor, but this time you're strumming all six strings, okay? Or well, most of them anyway. Then you play that D6 question mark, and then the C major seventh. But it's strumming, there's no arpeggiating, okay? So after you come out of that intro, I'll sing it. It goes on for quite a while, okay. Um, and then basically, he, at the end of that section, he goes into a straightforward E minor, rather than playing it in E minor here, he plays it here. So it does it just the once, it's E minor here, so instead of playing the E minor there, he's playing it here. Same with D6 question mark here, C major 7th. And then he goes into the C added 9 by adding that finger again to the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. A bit of pick around and stops. Okay, so after many times of going... Here's this. And then it goes into this middle section of the song where it's uh, another form of C major 7th. Okay. What we're doing there is um, first finger is playing the 3rd fret of the 5th string. And then my third finger and pinky are playing the fifth fret of the fourth string and the third string. Second string and top E string open. Okay, and that's a, quite a heavy strum, is it? To a straightforward E simple E minor. And then this chord, I don't know what this is to be honest with you. But anyway, it's fourth, my. Well, the way I'm fingering it is with these two fingers. Okay, I'm playing the fourth fret of the fifth string with my third, second finger rather, second finger, and my third finger is playing the fifth fret of the fourth string. Again, the third string and second string, top B string open. Okay, so C major seven, E minor. Again. And then he goes back to playing the, the does that one again, but he plays the E minor this way this time. But it's, you're still using this odd chord here, and then he just does a it goes into an E minor or something then, okay, and then he goes back to. that sequence again. So all I can say to you is basically uh, watch the video of him playing it on his own and you'll see uh, where these chords are that I've shown you 
where they fit into the song okay uh, hopefully so uh, that's the best I can do on this one I'm afraid but hopefully it'll give you a good start into learning the song okay thanks very much for watching listening and I'll see you in the next video bye for now